Recently, I thought what being a streamer feels like, since streaming has been a really big trend for these past few years. So I did some preliminary research to find out the requirements and equipments needed to start streaming. Not that I actually will, since I'm so bad at games. Anyways, you have all the standard one like your camera, your microphone, your lighting, etc. And coincidentally, I found something a lot of pro streamers use, which is something called the macro remote control also known as the Stream Deck. And God, it's expensive. If you do not know what macro keys are, they are basically shortcut keys. Remember those times where you need to type and press a lot of buttons just to assess a particular YouTube video or Netflix show? Yes, with this, you can just skip all the complex steps with a single click of a button. This is Budget Zero, and I'm gonna show you how to use your phone as a Stream Deck for free. This is best used if you have some spare phones or unwanted phones lying around that can still be used. You can always turn your old phones into some computer components. So you can just take your phone and then do something like a phone holder and then place it in front of your computer and place your phone like this so it stands up. First of all, we need to go to touchportal.com to download the desktop app. So what you need to do is go down till you see something like this and download and install for your own Windows version or Mac. And then when you open up Touch Portal, it will be something like this. Then in your Android or iPhone, go to your Play Store or App Store to download Touch Portal app. It is really simple and when you open up the app, it looks something like this. Make sure to click and change your IP address here as well as check whether the port is the same. And when it is automatically connected, it should appear here as connected to Android. Make sure both of your devices are in the same network and sometimes you need to accept the firewall permission. Since many of us want to use and connect it with OBS, the best screen recording and streaming software, we need to download a plugin called the Palakis OBS WebSocket. Just go up to Google and search for Palakis OBS WebSocket and you'll see a first link in github.com. So just click on it and just come down here to download section and go to the releases. So just click on it and keep scrolling until you see some assets part and just download for your Mac or Windows. If you Windows, just download this one. Once you have downloaded it, go back to your OBS and then restart it. Restart your OBS, all right? So go to your tools and you will see some web socket server settings right here. So just click on it. You'll see something like this. Just click on OK and it should con automatically connect. If not, just click on socket button. Just click on it. Click on connect with OBS. Right now, as you can see, it is screen recording you see some some recording button here so you just click on it it should stop recording automatically or you can see the mic my auxiliary mic here and it's connected to this button so just click it so just click it and it will automatically turn off the mic so if i switch it on it will switch it on everything you do is controlled by this touch portal and if you go to tp generate page 2 it will have more functions not only that you can also program each of the specific function which i really really like for example it, i want to go to the second page which is tp generated page 2 as you can see you can program each and every one of these as you can see you can see all, all the programs if you know programming you, you, if you know programming, you should know what to do with this. For example, I go ahead and program one button myself. And as you can see, it is called open web page, start application, open file. So, all right, let me show you the amazing stuff it can do. So as you can see, just now I just programmed the button right here. So the program is to execute my anime lab web page and to start the music as well as to start the game League of Legends. When I touch animate lab button, it should execute all of those things. So as you can see, it immediately executes the stuff. And it, I think it's also starting League of Legends. Where's my League of Legends? Yes. As you can see, the League of Legends is also started. 
So I'm just scratching the tip of the iceberg here. There's so many things you can do with this app. And it looks like I'm sponsoring this app, but I'm not. This is just an app I think it will be really useful to many of you, to many of the people out there. You can just explore your imagination and creativity of what this app can do. For example, there are many online classes. You might want to just push one button and you became a work mode. Or you want to relax, just push another button and you will open to um, relaxation mode. Your show, Netflix show, your anime show, whatever things that relaxes you. So I hope you like this video and stay safe, stay happy, stay creative. I'll see you in the next video. Budget Zero out.